Hello and welcome to this After Effects quick tip. Today I'm going to show you a solution to a very common issue that a few of you had and you also wrote me that question in some of my comments. How can I adjust an animation after I have set a few keyframes without destroying the whole animation? Or maybe you have tracked an element into a shot so you have a keyframe on each frame and now you want to just change the position on where the element is in your framing. And I'm going to show you actually two different methods of how to do that. So I have already created a background and a logo and I have already animated this over those four seconds. Just a real basic animation and you could have done this by hand or tracking. And to show you the issue, I just created a keyframe for each frame. So when we twirl down here and go to our position, you can see I have a keyframe on each frame. And now you maybe think, I want to have the Flow Motion logo going more through the framing on, on this kind of curve and not all the way on the bottom so that I can see it more obvious. So let's bring it up here. And now you can directly see what's happening. You don't have the control over all the keyframes here. And as I told you, there are basically two ways on adjusting that. Let's just reset that. And the first one is simply by going to a keyframe that you have created. So in my example, I have a keyframe for each frame. But if you only have, let's say you don't have keyframes here, you would only go to a time and space where you have a keyframe. Next, you go down to your position and now you just click on the word position and this highlights all of your keyframes and now you can just go to your logo and position it and all the keyframes follow accordingly so let me just show you what would have happened if I've done that where I don't have any keyframes if I click on position now I would create a new one over there so that's not what we want so always keep in mind to just go onto a keyframe that already exists, click on position and then all of them are created. But now I'm going to show you a better solution for that because that is a more flexible way when you want to bring your animation a bit further. And that is by animating a new null object. You just go to layer, new, null object. And what I always do, I just position my null object somewhat around the position of my logo so that I can move it around with the logo. And what a null object is basically is, it is a layer that has no color, no effects, but only position and transform data in it. And now I can make my logo a child of the null object. So I'm parenting the logo to the null object. And to do that, I go to the parent tab back here, take that pick whip, hold down my mouse button and bring it onto the null object. And then I just let go. And what this does when I click on my null object now and move that around, the logo layer goes with it and so does all the animation. When I bring it all the way up here, you can see that the animation is now up there. And the same way down, now it's all the way down. So this is a really nice way of adjusting the animation. and just another quick tip within this quick tip if you want to fine tune the animation more without messing up what you've already done you can do that in the curve editor so if you look at that curve that you have created with all the keyframes wouldn't it be nice to have that in a curve editor and just work on that curve structure and yes you can do that by clicking on the logo and then going to that icon here which brings up the curve editor and now you just click on the setting that you want to adjust. In this case, it's our position. And you have your X and Y curve. And you can also separate X and Y in here by just clicking on that separate dimensions icon. Now you just re-click on the setting you want to adjust. In our case, it's up and down, so the Y positioning. And also here again, you can double click on it, which brings up the whole curve. And now you can go onto those handles and adjust the curve or even work on the timing. You can also only take a few of those and just fine tweak your animation. 
So that's it, I hope this was helpful for you and now I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects. Mm -hmm.